I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. I'm Tiffany. Today we're going to talk about Star Wars because there's this movie coming out. It's called Star Wars. So I thought what? to coincide when? with the movie. Really? When? <laughs> like next year? I've been living under a rock, you see. Naturally. Yeah. Well, even if you have, don't worry because Disney's sent out a team of people to lift up every rock and oh. scream <laughs> porgs into the ether. What's a porg? Don't even get him started. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about Dark Empire from Dark Horse Comics from 1991. Wow. This is one of the first uh, Dark Horse published Star Wars comics. Originally, Marvel got the Star Wars license after the movie started. And mm-hmm. they were like, okay, here you go. And Marvel just had a great old time introducing cartoon rabbits that looked like Bugs Bunny into the Star Wars universe, which... George really appreciated. Oh yeah, because sure. because thirty years ago George had integrity and really really had a problem with that shit. Well, how did he get it? Why did he greenlight it? Oh well, he would he found out about it afterwards. Like he oh. signed off and then he would get he's the like, pages. Oh, a check, sure. And he's like, kill that character. <laughs> he would wow. like find out, get that out of here. That's and awesome. Then, this and really then they did. holds wa- like water with my like idea that this George Lucas is a pod person. <laughs> yeah. Replaced Our current pod sometime in 1995. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, I agree with you. I don't know when. I don't know how. But I agree. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, Dark Empire is written by Tom Veitch with art by Cam Kennedy. Okay. This, I mean, you've talked about Dark Empire before because you have some familiarity with the story. Yeah. Tell me why. Well, if you read the Star Wars novels, and I did in Naturally. the 90s because uh, it was all I had. <laughs> Um, well, I didn't know about the comics, of no. course. Uh, but, of which there are thousands. But my mom read the books, <laughs> so I had access to the books. That's and, cute. And yeah, yeah, she's a big Star Wars fan. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they reference like all this stuff because it's all in the same continuity. Yeah, so they were very meticulous about maintaining the continuity that was right. established in the books and in the comics right, that because, were licensed. Like you, it, like it existed. So like. If you're writing about these characters and this stuff has happened in their past, it doesn't make any sense if they don't reference it. No. So, like, when Luke's, like, thinking about stuff, he's, like, thinking about that time that, like, he turned to the dark side and served the clone of the Emperor. And I'm like, what? Yeah. And I'm like, Is that what's happening in this book? Oh, yes. spoilers. <laughs> yeah. But, like, that's if you read the thing. novels, you'd know the end of this <laughs> Dark book. Empire. So, Dark Empire takes place six years after Jedi. Okay. And the pitch originally was that they were like, oh, wouldn't it be cool if, like, the Emperor was still alive and he put a phony in the Darth Vader costume and, like, paraded him around to maintain fear in the systems? And Lucas was like, no. You can't do that. Right, he's but, dead. But you can totally resurrect the Emperor. What? Yeah, he's awesome. Keep him around. Probably because he and Ian McDiarmid are great friends or something. I don't know. Maybe. The, the fact is, he just... No, I or, think he, or he didn't want to like, no, the, the Darth Vader. Yeah, yeah. Look. Like the Emperor, who gives a shit about the Emperor? Bingo. Do whatever you want with him. Exactly. <laughs> okay. And so the opening crawl, because every Star Wars comic, of course, has to recreate the opening crawl, right. gives you a little context to what's happening. And the context is that six years later, Han and Leia are married. They have two kids who yeah. are twins. They're adept at the Force. And Luke is even more adept at the Force than ever before. Oh, also, all of this fucking stuff! <laughs> What kind of stuff? I'm going to paraphrase it really quick. Uh, so, yeah, apparently blowing up a space station doesn't make you Emperor of the Universe like everyone thought at the end of Return of the Jedi. So, like, when the Alliance, like, wins, yeah. they don't win. And they yeah. have to fight. Well, it's like the end of the first movie. Yeah. Like, and then, like, in the next one. And then the one... Empire struck back. Yeah. Well, the Empire kept striking back. <laughs> yeah. but, the, but the Alliance kept, like, pushing it. And what's amazing is they kind of rest the Alliance's failure on Mon Mothma's shoulders because Mon Mothma is, like, hell-bent on pushing the Old Republic universe. Like, she's mm-hmm. like, no, 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 no. The way it worked... A thousand years ago is the way it should work. We're going to do that. Right, right. The thing that was usurped by a fascist dictatorship with stormtroopers and shit and magic wi- like wizards, we got to do the, that thing that was defeated by two yeah. guys, basically. <laughs> but better. 
you know, the... Except the conceit is that the reason why it doesn't work is because there's no Jedi to back it up. Mm. The idea is that the only reason the Old Republic ever survived is because there was a backbone of thousands of Jedi. Right. Warrior wizards with magic powers. Right, keep to everything. keep everything... Fun, because there's thousands of star systems with millions of planets with trillions of races and they all need to be governed by one system? Are you kidding me? Well, no, it's a, it's, covered, it's, a, it's a galactic senate. They're right, but one system of government. Like, well, they go how to can one you possibly place. enforce like your, your incredibly archaic set of laws on like, a water planet versus a planet made entirely of dust. Because they're in the Senate and they get a say. A How do we do it in a country of 50 states? And one of them's all the way over there yeah. on the other side of no one... a different ocean. How does that work? And it's Unless... a desert. We don't even have deserts yeah, here. Deserts are one thing. <laughs> Living underwater and not because levees broke is another thing Not being entirely. able to talk. Yeah, oh, also being made physiologically differently from other people. We're talking about humans in the United States. Not... Yeah. not Ass mouths and hammerheads in the dark, <laughs> deep depths of the Galactic Republic. So really what you're saying is the Empire did a great job. Yeah, the Empire was so effective that they beat back good guys who defeated an evil wizard. Uh, no, I'm just saying like they were effective at keeping control over yeah. it. Yes, they were. Existed, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, they were thrilled. If all you so, care about is control, yeah, the Empire's yeah, they, good. They, they, no, did they great. They yeah. kept like getting beaten by the like last fringes of the Empire, and then the Empire wound up having a civil war within itself. Mm -hmm. And so we're in the middle of this ran. Actually, we're right on the tail end of the Empire's own civil war for control because nobody can get control. Right. And at the beginning of Dark Empire, suddenly things are working again, and the Empire is getting more effective. Oh. And you're like, oh shit, what's happening? And the Republic is like, well, we are totally useless because the people in charge are Admiral Akbar and Mon Mothma. I mean, oh. like Admiral Akbar, you know. Yeah. He is he's, so totally ineffectual in this a, comic. He's a seasoned war veteran. Yeah, See, as a matter of fact, the, the Mon Calamarians are actually pacifists yeah. that... Th yeah, they built star cruisers that were like luxury like <laughs> there it was like when you go on a cruise and you go on like a carnival boat like that yeah. so it's like fifth element when yeah, they like, go yes. to lost in paradise yeah and they I converted it to like get a, there. yeah <laughs> yeah but but Veitch, he wants to retcon the mon calamarians who by the way he just calls the calamari and i'm like no no no, no, no. <laughs> you're gonna pull everything apart if you call them food <laughs> i can't remember if the novel's I'm the sure they do, calamari. because they all have to adhere to a strict guideline system that's set up by yeah. Lucas. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, but the, but the well, idea the, is that... The, the problem with all these books is that problem, because in order for there to be a conflict, all the heroes that we know have to, like, fail yeah, in order constantly. to create a threat. And that made me frustrated. This whole yeah. book is actually exhausting, because everybody should have won, there should have been a happy ending, there isn't... And you already know how this is going to end. Mm. And I don't mean just because you read the novels. I mean, like, because it's a Star Wars book and they're not going to kill Han Solo. <laughs> Cut right. to The Force Awakens. Yeah. <laughs> well, surely they're not going to kill Chewie. Cut to Cut that to book that... where they kill Chewie. <laughs> stupid book. Luke and Lando were on, like, a, a Star Destroyer because the Alliance just starts taking Star Destroyers and using... They have three of them, I think. That's the idea. So we have three Star Destroyers. Oh, and they keep the name, by the way. Mm -hmm. Right, great way to ingratiate yourself with your newly established people is like, oh, yeah, the, 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 these craft that are named after total annihilation, we're going to keep the name. We're going to keep using them. Yeah, we're not even going to paint them a nice color or yeah. something. What are they? Gonna, where are they going to do that? And what are they going to call them? I don't know. Not destroyers. Maybe like star freers, or you know, like or freedom <laughs> vessels, that, or something. That, like but that'd that. be so transparent. It's like, yeah, but it looks like a star destroyer. Yeah, well, that's what they're built like. <laughs> all right, they're miles long. Or we'll just name them triangle shaped things, like pizza, pizza wedges. Slice. Yeah, I guarantee that that came from some war in the past where one nation like took the navy of another nation and just kept the names of the ship. And they're like, oh, well, we'll do that. That would happen oh, in no. Star Wars, oh, too. Oh, I guarantee you it's not even that much research. I think they were just like, no, they just took, to our, they took Star Destroyers. Because yeah, they and, don't have that many ships, so they need some Star Destroyers. And the reader will be confused if I call them something else. Yeah. Plus, so, it's a Star Wars book, so there have to be Star Destroyers. Bingo. So in the middle of this, like... By the way, not to interrupt you, like, for the billionth time, they do paint one of them. Do they really? <laughs> the Alliance doesn't, but... Like, like red and white? Like a pirate faction, oh. or the Huts or somebody get one, and they paint it red. That's just... How that's obvious. Just, that's, yes. Wow. Yep. 
How, how gaudy. Yeah, yeah, that sucks. That, that sounds if, like something if, a if hut would else, do. It should have been the Imperial Guards who got it. They were like, screw right. this! <laughs> screw this! I'm red, it's red, it's all red! Yep. Someone's gonna come in the comments, oh, it wasn't the Hunter, it was the Blanadin. Yeah, well, Faction. guess what? Whatever you know is over, and it's completely yeah, it retconned it out. It doesn't happen. matter. What the hell happens in this book? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Luke, that was my fault. Luke and, and, and Lando crash on a planet that is being warred over by two factions of the Empire. Okay. And so Han and Leia and Chewie and 3PO go to rescue them. But, okay. a, but a very specific group of people. Yeah, the group that you know are going <laughs> to go on this adventure. They bring two frigates. One frigate, like, blows up on the way there because they're trying to pass through the wreckage of this forgotten war. Uh, and one of them just blows up and like, oop. And Han has no patience in this entire book, which is kind of in keeping with Harrison Ford in the Star Wars franchise. But he's just <laughs> like, he goes, wow, we just lost an entire crew to save Luke. Uh, and yep. you're like, right on, that sucks. Don't pull on that thread, though, because I like Luke and I want to keep liking him, Han, right. and I like you two, and you're supposed to be friends. But anyway, right, moving we, on. We blew up an entire sail barge to save you. Yeah, we yeah. killed we killed Max Rebo and the band! <laughs> <laughs> I like to think they got out. How? But, oh, they didn't. There were all those I, little skips flying around. I had that uh, the book that had all the characters in it, and it was like, you know, born, whenever, died... <laughs> Max Rebo is definitely on the deceased list. Right. And they finally land with this garrison because there was an entire crew with Luke and Lando. It wasn't just the two of them. Okay. So they picked them up. Oh, I assume the whole crew died. It was just Luke and Lando. No, they're right. all no. They basically just <laughs> they just they just dig in and fortify. And what just happens wait. to Luke and Lando? Uh, Lando goes with them, oh. but then like the evil Empire people release these dog monsters, which they call necks. Necks. Yeah. Ironically, they have none. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's why they're so called that. So they release these necks. <laughs> Leia uses some of her burgeoning force abilities to oh. try and calm the necks. And Han's like, cool, but they're still coming, so I'm going to shoot them with my blaster like right. you should have done. And then Luke shows up. He throws the necks away. He blows up some battle droids. And then like an Adat Walker shows up and starts firing missiles at him. And then Luke uses his force abilities to create like a force field around himself. Thereby establishing that there's a litany of force abilities that you never saw that make him a lot more like a DBZ character. Well, Kamehameha. <laughs> he just deflects the, the blazer blast. Yeah, he, just, he puts a shield around himself. Yes, and then he redirects one of the laser blasts with a lightsaber and then just crushes the front of it. Oh my god. Like it's in Chronicle cool. and it comes down. And Luke is. Luke, and then Luke reveals himself and he starts talking to his friends and family. And this is when you're like, oh. Oh, Luke's a lot less interesting than you than you than he should be because he's like he's so far removed. You know, he's like the more powerful he gets, the less like fun and interesting he becomes. Mm. Right. So he's like he's more like a creepy sexless monk. Yeah. <laughs> Except that in this universe, in the pre prequels universe, <laughs> Jedi can marry and stuff. Yeah. And in fact, true. there's a character we meet later who was a Jedi like a long time ago who was married and had a kid and the kid fell with the wrong crowd mm. and then the kid got like murdered or whatever and so she had to go and step in and you're like that yeah that does make things more complicated and you're like that's cool I assume that he is getting more far removed like the more powerful he gets because he's just like the force really took everything from me I mean, I don't think it's... It, it took Uncle Owen and Aunt Beru. It, it, it killed my father. <laughs> yeah, it took Obi-Wan even... from me. It took Yoda. I never even knew my mother. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. But he is training Leia. Okay. Okay. And so Leia's becoming a little bit more of a Jedi. But she is... Whereas Luke is more, like, active, Leia's more passive. But mm -hmm. right. really, there's, there's no, like, yin and yang kind of situation. Here. No. And, like, honestly, like, Luke's like, I can only train you so much because, you know... You were too like, old. I had like a week with Obi Wan, and like yeah, no, and they keep yeah. referencing like the fact that he was trained by the two greatest Jedi, and it's like yeah, uh, he got like maybe three days with Obi Wan. And <laughs> I'm gonna give it a week on Dagobah. Like you know, people want to say that he was there for like six months, and I'm like, uh, the math don't add up. No, yeah, this is this isn't Tolkien, guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah the Millennium Falcon was in that space slug for a month. Yeah, I for don't a know month. If you read that. Yeah, oh, we just we just skipped Actually, over all the boring months. parts yeah. of them like. <laughs> Eating in <laughs> silence. And, I mean, they don't even establish that, like, ghosts help them out. You know, it's not like the like Yoda and Obi-Wan and Anakin ghosts are like, Luke, you know, lift the rock like that. Like, no, there's... No. He's even all on his totally own. could. Even though they totally could and should. They showed up at the damn end of the 
yeah. of the movie. No, they're having a good time. Well, you won. Yeah. We're going away forever. You blew up the one thing over there, which means you get to take over the universe, and you also are a Jedi now, officially. Bye. <laughs> so uh, Luke is like, you guys have to go, because there's something messed up that's coming. So get out of here. And they're like, we're not leaving. Get out of here. We're not leaving. Yeah. Get out of here. Ah, they do that like three or four times. Does, does he cry too? Like he's sending away a pet that he loves? Not even close. <laughs> no, just he's go. Just, no, he's just a dick. <laughs> Leia's a little sad, but that's kind of it. Uh -huh. And then R2 is like, I'm, I'm not leaving and you can't control me. Right. And so R2 doesn't leave. And 3 was like, no! <laughs> As they drag the away. Oh my God. And then this giant storm cloud shows up and then lifts Luke and some debris and R2 away into a, into a storm cloud of dark force abilities. I'm gonna leave now. No, what? you gotta stick around. No. So the uh. the cloud takes Luke away, and then Leia and the and everyone else leave, and then they call up Admiral Ackbar, and he's like, "I got, I've got no information. I don't know what's happening." So so they all leave, and they're like, "Remember that? Remember that, that frigate that blew up? That was now for nothing." No, they saved Lando and and the entire crew. It's just like. Yeah, but we were all hoping you were going to bring back the magic wizard. <laughs> is, is good, that since Mamathma's plan failed, we need a backbone of Jedi. The only person who knows how to use the Force at all is Luke. Leia, I'm sorry, and no offense, but it doesn't fucking count. You're more like Chancellor Troy than anything else. Right yeah, now. exactly. Yeah. No, she can push things at least with her mind. <laughs> she also has a lightsaber. Well, I don't know if she does this She does book. not yet. She did have a lightsaber in On the Truce of the What color was it? I don't Pink. remember. No, I would say it was kidding. purple, it was... but I don't remember. I don't remember at all. all right. Someone in the comments does, though. Yeah. And there it is. So then they debut, the Empire debuts their new horrible weapon, which are the World Devastators. Okay, see, I heard a lot about these World Devastators. It I mean, looks like half of a Transformer. I mean, it It looks like the... It, it, it's a mess. It, it a looks mess. like a city and a bad guy. It's also like that, that oh. big machine... In Superman versus the Earth Stealers, that like takes in planets right. and then converts it into, into oh, stuff they can does. use, like raw materials. Yes, the I... World Devastators. They park over a planet. Yeah. They pull everything in and they convert it into, into into stuff they can use to make more World Devastators and other resources for the Empire. It's how the Empire is able to make like massive ships and Death Stars oh, and crap. Okay. It's like Mega Maid. Yeah. It goes from, from blow to suck. <laughs> from suck to blow. Well, it goes from blow to suck oh, to yeah. suck everything That's out. That's true. And they're way worse than Death Star. But the Death Star could destroy a planet in like a second. Yeah, but these are able to do the same thing, but it takes longer, so they're much worse. <laughs> Look, I just need you to know that this is worse. Like it doesn't matter. But they do. They matter. say it's worse, and so get over it. So they. So it is. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> ah! is, it, is it a trap? He says, it's far more lethal than the Death Star. Oh my god. Far more. That doesn't make any sense. I kind of get the feeling that, like, hyperbole is a big part of Admiral Ackbar's personality and or people. Yes. Yeah, the Mon Calarians are all in on just <sighs> trumping up their problems. <laughs> Maybe it's worse because, like, it's harder to fight because there's, like, multiple of them. Yeah. Like, there's not one place to go to That's the other out. thing is there are, like, they're, then they're, and they all position over Mon Calamari because they're like, screw you, you're done. Oh. Oh, yeah, no. Oh, uh, Mari, oh, no. I know. That's why Admiral Ackbar's so upset. All right. So uh, Luke wakes up on a Imperial dungeon ship, which is actually, like, really, really old, and it was built during the Clone Wars, maybe by the Mandalorians, but the idea is that it was built to house and contain Jedi. Oh. Okay. It's that powerful and str and whatever. Oh, sure. So so Luke was was caught up in this cloud. It it dumped him into an imperial uh dungeon ship where he and R2 were like, "Oh shit. Well, all right." So then it takes them to Bis, which they call the heart of the empire. I've heard of that. I don't know from where or what, but I've heard of that. It's mentioned, yeah, it's mentioned frequently yeah. in the so books. So they go to Bis and uh and Luke is basically just like Taken from the ship to a to an energy cage to uh, so by something whom? that can like dampen oh. force power. Oh yeah. Wait, what? The ship? I, uh, no, this force they... cage they put him in, or this energy. Yeah, but cage. how do they get him there? Well, they use they, the cloud. Well, they, the cloud picked him up. They stuck him on the ship. Now he can't get he can't, he can't get out. Number one, he's in deep space. Number two, the walls are super thick and stuff or whatever, and so he can't they get took out. His lightsaber. And also, like Luke is always in on. Letting himself be captured so they can find out more information yeah. and then make his ridiculously circuitous escape. Right. So Luke is brought before the fucking Emperor. Oh. <laughs> like these these other bad guys who are not quite Dark Jedi or Sith, 
but they are trained in the dark Jedi arts, so they can have some influence and power, but they're not nearly as powerful as the Emperor. These are explained in afterwards and, and supplemental pieces of information that are thankfully within this book. Oh so my God. if you'd like to, after you're done with your comic book, read an encyclopedia, you can pick up a copy of Dark Empire and feel free to do that. <laughs> but they bring him before the Emperor, and it's goddamn Emperor Palpatine. He's like, oh, hello. <laughs> you... You, you thought you won, but you didn't. Look, it's me, and I look exactly the same. <laughs> and this is where they explain why the Emperor looks so old and gross. Oh, why is that? Because using the dark side withers and ruins your body. I'm it sorry, makes you age. Where? Yes. Oh, I thought... Oh, yeah, I guess that came out way before Shadows of the Empire. Yeah. They mentioned it in there, and I was like... Yeah, Shadows of the Empire is 96 or 97. That just made sense. Maybe it's 98, 99. This is 91. So the emperor is like, yeah, no, it's kind I, of an obvious idea. Yeah. yeah, but the other thing is that like, oh, and also like, I'm a clone, and I've been a clone like a really long time. Is this the book that what? establishes that like his like soul like bursts out of his body when yeah. he dies, when, and that's what that thing is? When Vader throws the emperor's body over the elevator shaft, yeah. and then like that big blue cloud shoots out, that's the emperor's spirit, like going somewhere, going to Bis. To go into, to the go clone into another clone. For and it was yes. another clone. Like, he was already a clone. Yes. The Emperor's been a clone for God knows how long. And the dark side, like, withers away and ruins those clone bodies even faster because they haven't figured it out yet or whatever. Uh, but the dark side does make your body, like, wither away and die. Uh, it's so just that when it's a clone. Is constantly changing into new clone bodies as he wears out? The... Yes. But why is he always old? Like, wouldn't people notice he's like goes young to old to young to old? Right. Why no, well, because the Empire hadn't been around that long. Oh, so he's only done the cycle a couple times. According to the people who would be in the Empire, who would know about that. No, everyone like no anyone who knows the Emperor is either like a subservient dark Jedi like minion uh, or like an imperial officer. So yeah. and those right, guys right. only live a regular amount of time. People don't get to see him. No. Yeah, I, I assume thing. he doesn't go out a whole lot. I doubt it. He doesn't get out much. <laughs> you know, no. It's, it's just, look, he's overwhelmed I don't get before. out much. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, my, my skin doesn't exactly have a rosy glow bleached by the sun. <laughs> Not that I wouldn't clean up if I did. I mean, certainly. <laughs> so anyway, he's like, okay, so like, I can't die and you lose. So like, you should totally become my apprentice. And Luke's like, okay. What? And you're like, wait, what? And it's because Luke has a plan. Uh -huh. And he's like, and the plan is, because he's like, read books about the Jedi arts or whatever. Yeah. That, like, some Jedi have attempted to, and basically the ultimate goal of the Jedi is to destroy the dark side from within. So Luke's like, cool, the Emperor's giving me an opportunity to, like... Whoa, 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 let's just say, destroy the dark side. Yeah. So, like, no one can use the dark side anymore if you do this? Fuck if I know what is act what that what that means. But <laughs> his plan is he's going to defeat the Emperor by, like, gaining his trust, understanding the dark side. The, the reality is, his bullshit reasoning for joining the dark side is a smokescreen. What he actually wants to know is, why did my dad fall? Oh. Why is my dad such a dick? Right. Like I get that, like How the dark did you side. Turn is, him? Yes, right. I I get my that like the dark side is quicker and easier, more seductive, and all that. Yoda gave me that crap while I was eating yeah. root stew. Yeah. But, yeah, but the, like specifically why? Why did why if my dad was so great amongst the thousands and thousands of Jedi? Yeah, how, how did he my fall? Dad yeah, turn? my dad is so great, it's... a Skywalker, if you will. So yeah, <laughs> so he that's his plan. He okay. doesn't reveal it until later. Yeah, and he doesn't get an answer either. But like he, uh, but he's like, okay, I'm in. And so the Emperor's like. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. And immediately makes him Commander Skywalker, and he is part of the friggin' system. And the reason why the Empire is being so effective and why it's been able to bridge gaps and is because the Emperor's back. Right. Right, right. And he's like, that's why it took so long, because, like, I was Where on... was he? He was on Biss, like... I was growing in a chamber. I know, he, he has, like, all these different clones. <laughs> yeah, I assume he's got a bunch. Because later he, yeah, he... Oh, and he has, like, a finite amount that, like, they have to keep growing. It took me a while to find a clone that I really enjoyed <laughs> being inside of. <laughs> well, because the Emperor has other plans... <laughs> Because he's like, the clones are, you know, like, a means to an end. I don't want to die, is the point. Right. <laughs> but, like, the clone bodies are just, like, the tourniquet. What I really want to do is I want to go into, like, a real body. And I can. And it's going to be you, Luke. I'm going to go into you. And I'm going <laughs> to take over. 
And and then he and he reveals also that like he Jesus. when he the clones like he like raises them and like has them like grow and they like do, like those Django fets like where it's like they oh have my like God. and then and then he just goes into them and usurps their personality and goes like okay it's me now <laughs> <laughs> like he just murders himself thousands and thousands of times <laughs> you're like God this damn is it. insane yes so then Leia's like oh I feel from the force that Luke went to the dark side and Han's like. I don't care. But he just immediately actually turns to the dark side? Well, he, he like, he joins the Emperor, which, like, would send a tremor through the Force that would what? make Leia sad. Why? Because, well, if he doesn't feel like he's Well, he does! Yeah. So, <laughs> well, it happens. So then, like... Because the Force is looking, and it's like, hey, hey, hey I the see only that Jedi Luke is hanging just out the with, Emperor. with the Emperor, and he said the words, I will join you, so that means he did. Meanwhile, tremor. Ghost Obi Wan's like, for real? Yeah. For yeah. Real? Oh, I know. So, like, uh, Leia's, like, sad, and she doesn't know what to do, and Han's like, you can't leave, and Han's, Han has to train, like, some new recruits to, like, figure out how to, how to fly these brand new ships that are way better than X-Wings, because those things are antiques and garbage. Right. They're called E-Wings. We're I gonna remember debut reading E-wing. about the E-Wings. How cool and great they are. Yeah. We're going to put these green hordes in them and make them help defend the Mon Calamarians, or Calamari, against <laughs> these world devastators. Right. So Leia's, like praying or whatever and then vader shows up and you're like oh yes she's gonna talk to anakin or whatever and he's like and she's like father is that you he's like no your dad is dead it's me luke why would he have the mask because because he's a dick because like we're, because these guys really want you to remember that there's these three movies called star wars <laughs> And if you don't remember it, right. or if you don't hear lines or see visuals from those movies, yeah. you won't buy what's happening. If you don't see a Darth Vader in the book, we can't put Darth Vader like on the book. Well, but no, it's, like, it, how are we going to put him on the cover if he doesn't appear in it? Well, in yeah, but way? but it's mostly no. It's it's more like because the Vader visage is actually just Luke. Yeah. And it's Luke communicating with Leia, being like, stop, don't follow, I've got a plan, everything's cool. But he shows up as, as Vader, and then is, is the mask, like, morphs, because that's an image from yeah. Empire, and people liked that yeah. moment. You want to see Darth Vader. They do the same, for, <laughs> like, but they do the same goddamn thing, like, later, Luke's hand is missing again, and the Emperor's like, I'm building an even better one. Oh my god. And you're like, what? A better hand? It already functioned yeah, exactly like, like a real like, hand. This one's got, like, two thumbs. It's way better, yeah. <laughs> got twice as many thumbs got double the thumbs it's twice as think, good think of all the of all the grips you can handle in any case it it makes leia like pass out and so they call are these e wings these are the e wings they look like the letter e they look stupid yes, but they they're do. way better than they look like hats <laughs> with guns on them you know why they did that it's a hat because they're like in the first movie, you only had the Y wings and the and X wings, and then, then you, you had, had the, the B snow wings, speeders, and then you had the B wings and the A wings. Yeah, where's the, what's the so next they, letter? We've the established album? in the Star D. Wars universe that they come out with new ships every few years, and we name them after letters of the alphabet they look yeah. like. Yeah, I guess. I never thought the B wing looked like a B. No, no, it's like a T wing. Yeah, why isn't it a T wing? Because we started. I don't know. Because Tie Fighters. Yeah, those are T wings. The They're not, but I guarantee you bet that has to do with it. Yeah, I, I mean, TV. the the fact is, the letter T is evil. <laughs> Audiences will be confused if we name our our ship for a letter that's shared by uh, the chief uh, enemy right. of us. Exactly. I don't know. It's really weird. But uh, so Leia's like, I gotta go. I gotta go save my brother. He's in he's in trouble. Even though he's warned me th- like twice. Mm-hmm. Not to go help him, and I gotta go help him. He said he's under control, and I don't need to help him. But I definitely have to I because believe I don't believe him. Yeah. And like maybe it's maybe it's another goddamn pullback because like no, you don't understand. Like Leia's doing the same thing that Luke did when he was on Dagobah, and he felt that his friends were in trouble, and he risked everything, and he yeah. or did the thing that she did after he got his hand cut off and fell in the bottom of Cloud City. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's it, just. Over and over it's like again. poetry, like... it rhymes. No. So, uh. Uh, the idea is that they're like, okay, we need to. G-. She's like, I know that they're like, I don't know what planet that Luke is on, but I know that it's deep in the heart of the galactic, whatever the fuck. Mm-hmm. And we need permission to go there because you can't just fly in because it's like ruled by too many emp- em- like too many like imperials. Right. So like Han goes, okay. I know a few people on Nal, uh, on Nalhutta, or rather Nar Shadda, uh, which is a moon of of Nalhutta, right. uh, that will be able to grant us permission in a vessel that's different 
to go there and we can go and then you can use your force powers to find what planet Luke's on. Okay. So Han and Leia and 3PO get to go on a zany adventure where they get to go do things you'd rather see. Where's Chewie? Oh, Chewie goes with them too. Oh, okay. What about Lando? No, Lando has to go help the... Lando is helping with the assault on Mon Calamari. Oh, so oh you see, Mon Calamari is besieged by these world devastators. Yeah, actively and sucking so, up the planet. Yeah, and the Mon Calamarians are like doing dick all to help them because they're just, they're just I don't know. There's nothing <laughs> we could do. It's a trap. It's not yeah. even a trap. It's just a, it's just a total like well, it's the violation. End? It's the Where, end. Where's the like, they're sending the fleet. Leading the fleet. Okay. Yeah, no, no, no. They're sending everybody. Okay. So. So is he gonna pull a little maneuver? No, there's no maneuver by by Lando, unfortunately. It's a shame. No. Mm. So Han calls up his buddy Mako, who's like, I'm not gonna help you. The the huts have a bounty on both your heads because Han, you didn't pay the huts back, and Leia, you murdered Jabba the Hutt, <laughs> yeah. and Jabba's. Well, who is around that remembers right? that? Who knows that? The they huts, blew everyone the up. I know. always remember. Yeah. Word got out. The hut never forgets. From where? What, the Sarlacc told them? I mean, I guess when, like... I know exactly Luke who told and them. Leia oh. and Lando escaped, and uh, they didn't get any more phone calls from Jabba afterward. They just they got assumed. to put two and two together. No, no, no. They know that Leia killed Jabba. Uh-huh. And the reason they know is because Boba Fett's alive. Okay. Oh, while, that's right! Well, yeah. <laughs> but while that was happening, he was already... Like dealing with things, he wouldn't know that Leia killed him. That's true. Him. Oh yeah, he that's right. Seen it. Well, maybe I'm Salacious sure Crumb survived. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. And he told. He flew and away after, or after he dragged Boba Fett out of the Sarlacc. <laughs> <laughs> I bet Leia like told no people like I fucking oh, yeah. killed him. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I choked his ass. Yeah. yeah. Den- I did. Dengar saves uh, yeah. Fett. And Dengar is in Jabba's palace in Return of the Jedi. So my guess is Dengar survived. Dang yeah, I think he was right like hiding survive. as she was like choking Jabba. He's like, oh, he's like, oh no, nice. Like Dengar, maybe you could do it now. Yeah, no, Dengar's like, no, I know I can't beat these guys, but I yeah. do know that I can make this worth my while. Yeah, I do know <laughs> I can cower and then drag a better bounty hunter out of the Sarlacc. Then he'll owe me a favor. Yeah. <laughs> so Dengar, you suck. So they call up Mako and he's like, I'm not helping you. And Han's like, you owe me. And he's like, I uh, I paid you back with another stupid vague reference to some goddamn thing. So they're like, oh. And then they're like, well, listen, we're being attacked by Imperials. You got to let us in. He's like, okay. So they let him in. And then they call up another guy who is another friend. <laughs> Who's got some sort of skin disease. Yes. Mako sells them out, but Ninx is all right. And Ninx has partnered up with another character that you get to meet. Oh, boy. And okay. that person's name is Sala. Sala. And oh. Yeah, but yeah. it's a girl. Oh, okay. No, no, no. But it's fun to see Han say Sala because you're just thinking, like, Sala! You, I said no camels! That's five camels! Can't you count? But no, Sala is Han's old girlfriend. Oh, no! Is she in the new books? They've created a new character that looks just like her who was Han's wife? But in fact, they just posed as husband and wife, but they went through a ceremony to make it look real, which in, on the planet they had it on is actually like a marriage somewhere. So technically, Han did marry this lady, but they both were like, ah, we don't really believe in it anyway. Mm-hmm. We're doing it just to facilitate it. But we also are banging, so I guess it works out. <laughs> but, but so, yes, Sala looks like the new character was established in Jason Aaron's Star Wars from Marvel after Dark Horse lost the license when Disney acquired Marvel. But forget all that, so let's get into it. Uh, so Ninx and Mala have teamed up, and Han Mala? is like, oh crap, no, I'm mixing up too much. <laughs> Sala. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah. if Mala's in this, I'm definitely in Oh my god, yes. Uh, for those of you who don't, aren't familiar, Mala is Chewbacca's wife. Ninx has to like activate the, the tunnel they're going through. It's like, security systems, I haven't yet to use them in a while. They're old, they're rusty. Like Eventually they turn on, they kill the Imperials, the, 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 the Millennium Falcon lands, and he's like, okay, here's the deal. And Ninx and, and Sala are all too eager to help them, but not in a suspicious way, but more in like a suspiciously convenient way, where you're like... But that's bore. But like, you didn't even give them any tension whatsoever. Yeah. And they're kind of like abrasive, but it doesn't really matter. Like, but you know they're going to help them, and they do. Yeah, they don't have any compelling reason to help them, but they do anyway. Precisely because the story needs them. To. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You know, and they risk life and limb to help this guy who who they helped out already, and have, like who owed them a favor and already took care of it. Like, so there's no 
reciprocation. There's no need for like payback. There's no, no expectation of money. Although Han does offer them like a hundred thousand credits or something like that. Does he is, have that? Is, is that a lot? Is that a little? I don't, I don't know. know. Yeah, they're they're in they're in alliance credits, so it's like it's like Disney bucks. The economics of Star Wars are complicated we, at, at even best. Even if we knew the amount, we couldn't convert it to like five years after Return of the Jedi. No, no. because sure. I'm sure inflation went out of control. Oh my god, the entire it. government fell apart. There's no military. What yeah. are you? Gonna, and and they're still fighting. Come on. Yeah. No, it doesn't. No, I'm not. I'm not saying Republic credits. <laughs> Republic credits are no good out here. I need something more real. Unfortunately, there is no scene like that. Nor is there a great character like Watto. Uh, so they're like, it's going to take us a, a long time to like pull a tranny out of this thing and put it in this other ship and blah 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 basically the idea is we're going to take this big thing and we're going to bring it to the to the to the heart of the galactic blah 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 to get you to where you need to go but it's going to take some time because we've got like 16 different ships they're going to build a ship they're they're going to fix a ship it's like when they make a franken ship no, no, no. The ship's already built, and it took him years to do it, but it's just not finished yet, so he's going to pull, like, parts out of these How other How are they going to sneak, like, a random ship that they've been building for oh, years because, into the Empire? Because the, 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 the people on Nar Shada are contractors who have been subcontracted by the Empire to build oh, shit for them. Okay. So it would be a completely decent cover story for these, these, these low-life smuggler, like, auto mechanics... To be like, I'm ten, I'm taking shit to your to your capital for you to build more crap, or um, we built more crap, or sending it over. Okay. Right. So, is this is this just a ploy for something to happen while they're waiting? Yes. Okay. So Han and Leia need to leave for a little while, and so they go to Han's old place, like his apartment, which was oh. on Nar Shaddaa. And what? no one's living there. No. Well, he's like, I'm hoping that there's no uh, there's no squatters. Like, my key still works. Oh, he still owns it? Yeah. And he's been paying his taxes and everything? I mean, here's the thing. It's Narshada. Oh, like, they probably don't have taxes. Well, how many credits no. is it? Yeah, it's probably worth... <laughs> yeah, he probably paid them, like, six million credits to let them keep it open for him. <laughs> so while he's trying to, like, get the door open, uh, she gets flagged down by this, like, homeless lady named Vima. And Vima's like, Jedi! Jedi! I know you're a Jedi! Vima knows what Jedi are! And you're like... Okay. And, and she kisses the foot of Leia, and she's like, you're a Jedi princess! Like, I know who you are! And Leia's like, oh, just shut the fuck up. All right, all right, listen, what do you want to tell me? She's like, and she tells her, like, you're a Jedi. I was a Jedi at one point, like, long ago. And what? the idea is, like, maybe she's, like, hundreds of years old. Like, you don't really know how old Vima is. Okay. But the idea is that, like, Vima had a kid. The kid went into, a, 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 like, a rough crowd. Vima, like, lost the kid. And then Vima slaughtered them. And then the, the Force kind of, like... Kind of like walked away from her, basically. <laughs> the person's like, "Whoa, yeah. damaged goods." Why didn't she turn to the dark side? Because she's because she's she was a, a Jedi trained by like real Jedi. I guess oh. she touched the dark side, rejected it, and then couldn't use the Force again. It, more Maybe or less. Like, like the, if I use it again, I'll. Uh, I will. Yeah. So she like she because like she's like lost a child. She just basically recedes into herself and goes to Narshada and becomes like a garbage person. Okay. But she hands <laughs> Leia this box that is vaguely lightsaber shaped. And she's like, Leia, you you take this because I don't because Vima doesn't need this anymore. Oh. Does she keep like, referring to herself like that? Yes, she's like, and she's the Damn she's it. she is Leia's Yoda. Okay. And then she's like, you know, that uh, sucks. and then they 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 you know, Han's like, what you get? She's like, oh, this 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 woman gave me this. And then they turn back and there's just smoke where she was. And they're like, oh, she's gone. He's like, oh, so you picked up that box from the ground? That's a garbage box. Yeah. She's like, no, Did there was a woman die? there. Yeah. Sure. She turned. She she yoded. I was gonna say, did she? Right then, yeah. While they weren't looking, she did the thing because it's, yeah. it's because no convenient. one knows what <laughs> makes you turn blue. Yeah. And I always thought, in my theory, and I never read most of the books. I read some of the books, but I'm not enough to know what the fuck makes you turn blue. But I always was like, you give yourself to the force when you willingly let yourself go. You can turn blue. You know, you can you can right. like. It's, yeah. it's why Obi-Wan disappears before the saber hits him. It's why Yoda disappears without being murdered by anyone. Right. right. When you're like, okay, I'm done. You just let yourself go. So Vima, like, and I guess these guys probably made the same assumption, but Vima disappears. And they're like, and by the way, in the afterwards and shit, always bull, because every issue had like a little thing that told you more shit. And one of them was like, don't worry, like you haven't seen the last of Vima. And I'm like, oh, good. Thank God. That you have in this book. So they open the door. How come Vader didn't disappear? He did. For all intents and purposes, he did. But he was like <laughs> more machine. machine than man. Well, but you see him and he dies and you see him. Like, yeah, but like, well, in there. he Maybe does like lay there. the next second. I assume that like the next second he disappears. Yeah. Okay. We just don't see just it. To spo- not, not to spoil the reveal, I guess. Oh, of Return of the Jedi? No, no, I mean like the director cuts it. Oh, yes. Yeah. So yeah. that you won't. 
Yeah, you, then you'll be surprised when you see him at the end. Maybe exactly. he wasn't like, in, like entirely dead. He was only mostly dead. <laughs> right. So, no, uh, so they open the door, and that's when we meet ZZ, Hans' droid. How many more uh, characters are we going to meet before this book is over? Hang on. <laughs> but we meet. We'll just keep meeting I feel so bad, right by the way. The it's, it's awful. ZZ's like, ah, Mr. Solo, welcome back. He's like, oh, shit, ZZ, you didn't break or turn off. I'm sorry. It's like it's like he just checked in on his freaking Neopets account. And he's like, you're still here? Oh, no. I forgot to feed you. Oh, and I'm you've like, gone that's... totally mad. And I'm like, that's horrible. I don't yeah. like that at all. We've established <laughs> that droids have consciousness. And this yeah, board... but they also, like, wipe their memories all the time time oh yeah it's horrible yeah well so that like that doesn't really happen so that you don't feel too bad like yeah oh and but han gives him a hard time it's like zz looks like you made it you, you you took good play good care of the place while i was gone and zz's like i'm sorry mr solo uh, be, behold mr fett to see you mr fett mr fett and then like boba fett just goes like hey <laughs> what and, and they're both like what and like you died and and fett's only explanation is the Sarlacc found me somewhat indigestible. And that is his only explanation for how he is retconned <laughs> out of a, a, a yeah. hilarious death from Return of the Jedi. And Dengar is there too, and he's like, What up? I'm here too. And I am also here. <laughs> and so they shoot and at him. He's like, Who are you? And he's like, I'm Dengar, man. I'm Dengar, I'm Dengar man. Dengar, man. Come on. I was at Jabba's Palace. Second best bounty hunter in the galaxy. Really? After the death of Greedo and. <laughs> And Fett? I don't remember you. I'm sorry. Yeah, I just, I don't know who you are. I look like a burn victim. Come on. who's shooting who? Oh, so they're basically like, the Huts want you alive so that they can torture you to death. Especially Jabba's brother. And and the Huts are here and they run this place. So like, we're going to bring you to them. And then Han shoots at them and then they shoot back. And they, of course, shoot ZZ and he dies. (laughs) Oh, and so Han and Leia get into a fierce blaster chase from Fett and Dengar, and while they're fighting, they get like they get they get cornered at like a floating, basically just like a a cliff, okay, of this of this urban jungle. Yeah, and so they're like we're pinned down. There's no place we can go, and there's more there's more bounty hunters showing up. We're looking to play, like okay. get in on this. Why is it Boba Fett like use a net or a stun blast or something? Like because how, Boba he completely Fett gets the drop of them. How can I they know. possibly escape? I know they literally just shoot at him first, and then they run because Han shoots first. Uh, but but uh, Boba Fett had a gun trained on him. Yeah, I guess he didn't. Well, because he knows he doesn't need to kill. Han. He doesn't want to kill Fett, him. But why Fett does he have a stun want to gun? Hit the droid. He felt bad. Yeah. No, Fett shoots the droid. No, I... But yeah. But <laughs> so, First I'll shoot the droid, and then I'll stun Han Solo. Yeah. So, oh, he shot at me and got away. So they're pinned, <laughs> and they're going to die. Yeah. But then this hut on a floating little platform comes by to see what's going on. Like, you know, like, oh, that's oh. pretty. <laughs> and then Han just <laughs> shoots at that, knocks the hut off of the platform. He plummets to his death. They hop on that, and they <laughs> sail away. <laughs> Well, the huts are gross, so it doesn't matter if they die. No, it's okay. Yeah, that's that's what that's, we've established. It's a long-standing tradition in comics that if they look different from humans, it's okay to murder them. Yeah. Oh. So they, they look enough different. So they fly away. They go to their friend Ninx and Sala, and they just go like, "I hope the ship is ready," and it is. And they get in and they leave. Like, and then Ooh. and then Dengar's like, "We gotta go. We gotta chase after them." And huh, and, and and Boba Fett says, "Don't worry, Slave Two." is one of the fastest ships in the galaxy. And you're like, you didn't even keep the first ship? Like, what happened to the ship? Yeah, the ship didn't go to the fucking Sarlacc. I'm sure there's some goddamn freaking book or comic that explains what happened. The Tusken Raiders took it. They were joyriding. It did not end well. Yeah. They crashed. So they're like, okay, let's go. So they go to the heart of 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 the Empire. They're getting closer. And as they get closer to Luke, Leia's seeing bigger, like, more clear visions. And she's seeing that Luke is commanding the Empire's forces... Oh, wow. To go attack Mon Calamari. So she's like, I think we've lost. Like, I think we've lost Luke. I think Luke is now controlling the, the Empire. Like, I, I don't know what the hell's happening. So Luke's, like, barely in this book. Oh, yeah. yeah. He goes to the Emperor. He becomes evil. He becomes immediately. evil immediately. Yep. Uh, okay. But not really. Yeah. Right. So then, uh, <laughs> yeah, no. Not, well, yeah, no, but yeah. So uh, back on Mon Calamari, like, they're losing. Because these world devastators have shields and shit, uh-huh. and like legions shields. of 
that's the ultimate yeah. weapon. So well, Luke's <laughs> commanding them. Yeah, and Luke's commanding them. But then, yeah. for no reason, one of the world devastators, like the shields, just turn off, and oh. the and the E wings and whatnot, like go in and blow it the fuck up. Okay. And uh, the you know the, the the strategies, and and you know the generals are like, well, it looks like we found a weak spot, like the freaking Death Star, and they're like. Mm-mm. It's like no, like Luke is secretly commanding oh. the forces, and he's he's like making them like chain, turn off shields, and he, he's like he's just trying to gain the emperor's favor. Right. Later, Without, like making it too obvious by exactly. just turning them all off. So yeah. the uh, Nix, so he's he's willing to be complicit in the murder of many civilians. Well, he knows they're Calamari. he knows they're going to be killed, and that the uh, that the rebellion or the alliance's forces are doing the best they can. Like Luke being with the emperor or not being the emperor. Is this the same results will occur? Uh, but with Luke at the helm, he can help them lose. Okay, so he's not okay. All right. I no, he's not like he's not like command. He's like okay. Well, I have to at least slaughter these twelve <laughs> yeah. Calamarians in order to show the Emperor I know what I'm doing. No, he's just like yes, you should do the the battle yeah. plan that's laid in, laid before you. But it's dicey. I'm like he's in charge though. They're gonna ask him questions. Oh and yeah. Stuff, like... And Han, by the way, has no patience for it. He's like fuck that. He's a bad guy. I'm gonna kill you. You're like, how you're like work Han's gonna Vader. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, what? You, how? Yeah, how Han? Right. So the they they my wife is gonna kill. Him. Yeah. So they go. Oh, Chewbacca. Oh no, Han just thinks he can shoot him. The, no, Han's like, I'm gonna kill you one day, Luke. He you watched son of a bitch. Luke absorb blasts from, from an Ad Walker and then crush it with his mind. That was one of the mind. first things that he saw Luke do on yeah. the Millennium Falcon. I know. Yeah, is use the Force. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, the, 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 the motley crew of Han, Leia, Nynx, Sala, Chewie, 3PO, they just transmit cl- like code clearance and they go through the, sh- the, the planetary shields. Oh, okay. And they go like, they have shields like we did on, en- or on, on Hoth. Remember when we had the shield? Like, yeah. Yes, I do. I've seen Star Wars a lot. <laughs> do they show the shield generator? It's like the same no. thing? No, they okay. just say it. All right. Because that's probably what it is. It's like we didn't show them, so we have to tell them. Yeah. Which is what everyone wants in a visual medium is to sh- is for you to tell us, not show us. So they actually say in the book, like the shields we have in, uh, had on Hoth? Yeah. Why would you say that? Presumably those are everywhere. I know. <laughs> so they get through, and what's great is Dengar's like, they're not going to let us through. We don't, have, we don't have codes or anything. He's like, no, nah, don't worry about it. Dengar. <laughs> D- Dengar. D- Look at <laughs> Dengar's worried that they're not going to let us through. Slave 2 is super fast. So they, they're just they're just following the ship. And so the, the, the Empire's like, uh, okay, this ship uh, sent codes. Let them through. Hey, there's a littler ship that's chasing after them. Uh, well, they didn't send cl- codes. Close the shields. So they just smash into the shields. Boba Fett and Dengar do. So Boba Fett was full of shit. Yeah. And Dengar's like, that you asshole! Like, what the hell's the matter with you? And he's like, you know what? Forget it. We're not working together anymore. And Vet's like, well, that suits me just fine! And then you never see them again in the rest of this book. Well, that's, okay. That's what should happen, though. Because I know, but like, it's stupid. Because <laughs> well, like, don't resurrect Boba Fett back by accident. By a blind man. Off. No, that is literally like the writer was like, I want to bring Boba Fett. I want him in this book. Yeah. Wait, now Boba Fett's in this book. Oh, no. Oh, he no. can't be in the book. That would anymore. really complicate things. What if what if Boba Fett goes and meets with the Emperor and Luke? Nope, nope, we can't do that. How do I? Oh, I can't kill him. Yeah, I can't kill him again. I just brought him back. I know. <laughs> I'll make him look like a goddamn joke in Wacky Raceland. Yep. Again. So... He looks like he's looked like a joke twice now. Yeah, so now Boba Fett just has no credibility. Yeah. With Dangar. <laughs> With Dangar. <laughs> so they land and, uh, you know, uh, Nynx and uh, Sala, they're like, okay, well, we're, we're going to park someplace where we're allowed to park and you guys can go figure it out. <laughs> so they go, um, they park like the main ship someplace, but they take the Millennium Falcon, which was like attached to the back of it oh. to make it look like it was part of the ship. Sure, okay. I bet it does. Like it was in Empire. Remember that time when the, uh, when the when the Millennium Falcon yeah. looked like a part of the ship in Empire? I was there. And Luke shows up as a ghost, and he's like, "You shouldn't have come here. This is such a mistake." And then the uh, the Emperor's people are like, "Ah, excellent. Han and Leia are here. Come on, come, and we'll bring you before our new yeah, right? commander." So they get arrested, and Han's like, "Fuck you!" Like Han is no Han 
can't even imagine that there's some kind of subterfuge going right, on. Right. So he looks like an asshole and a moron. Okay. And Leia's like, my brother, and he's just like, my my idiot woman here thinks <laughs> that that you're that you're that you're worth saving, but I know better because you know we're best friends, and you're like you're the god's father to my children uh-huh. of the last six years. So obviously, I'm willing to completely like betray. Like, it's just so stupid. But anyway, he's like, we're leaving. Like I'm here. We're, we were here to come and bring you back. We came to bring you back last time. I lost an entire frigate. Now we're gonna come back, and we're gonna we're gonna get you. We're gonna, you're gonna come whether you like it or not. Uh huh. And then, uh, and then, like, he, you know, he doesn't, and he just. <laughs> and, and, oh, and Leia takes out. Oh, Leia busts out her lightsaber, which her was new, what was in the box. Which was, in, yeah. No, right. she reveals that she has a lightsaber, and yeah. Han says something to the effect of like. I still trust my blaster, like he did uh-huh. in uh, A New Hope. Is so, like a good blaster. Or just side, blah, precisely. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So Leia's like, so the Emperor's like, ah, <laughs> like well played. Yeah. Now you've brought, you've brought the one person I actually wanted. Uh-huh. I didn't want Luke. I wanted Leia. Now Leia, use your lightsaber to kill Luke. You know, you know what? Actually, and he just uses the force and breaks the lightsaber. Leia gets her lightsaber. She ignites it in in, in this cool moment. Boom! It's gone. You're like, oh. I thought this is like where Leia gets her lightsaber and it's yeah. like, oh, it's part of this lineage. No, the Emperor breaks it and that's over. What the fuck? And he's like, now stand by your sister and now now you can join the dark side and 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 okay, so like I've got okay. Let's see what I've got here. Uh, originally it's usually it's usually one person or two, but now it's like, oh, hmm. Okay, so like he's already on my team. But like if I get you on my team too, because I have I have like secret plans for you, Leia. Oh, so, oh so, such plans. So, so you, you work for him. Yes. He's like your boss now, but he's but, also but your he, brother. But, uh, yeah, but, but he's been on the dark side longer by like a couple of days, so he has seniority. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. That's how my hands are tied. And Leia's like, I didn't join the dark side yet, you dick. And so she like tries to drop an air conditioner on the Emperor, and it like hits him, and it just disappears. You know, he's just like, no. And then he zaps her with lightning. And, then, and, and Luke Where doesn't... Where is Han? Yeah, Han's Han, just like... Han is, oh, Han's being held back by no. like these guys. And he's like... And Luke makes no attempt to protect Leia from this lightning. Right. And he's just like, yeah. And Han's like, that cinches it. Luke's a dick and everyone sucks and screw you. And he like punches Luke. And then Luke like grabs Han by the neck and he's like holds him up. He's like, you you really think that your like cool blaster and like YT-1300 crater is going to defeat me? I'm, I'm the new Darth Vader, bitch. There's nothing you can do about it. Uh-huh. And like, and Han's like, this sucks. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> There's a subplot of like Nynx and Sala who meet another guy and like they, 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 there's these big probe droids on this planet, like really big probe droids that look just like the probe droids that <laughs> yeah. on Hoth. But uh, they can, at one point or another, like one of them's going to get into it and like use it. That's all you need to know. Okay. But like, cool. so uh, Luke leaves and the Emperor's like, ah, excellent. Like, Leia, you can stay here. I've got a droid that like holds you so you can't go anywhere. Uh, I, so yeah, you want to be a Jedi? That's awesome. I've got this Jedi holocron here. Oh damn it! Oh no! And it has all kinds of information from the from from thousands of years of Jedi. I, I I've read a billion Jedi books and read and and listened to a million Jedi holocrons, and so I've learned. I my powers are, you know, X to the ten millionth, and so there's nothing you can do about it. Like. So she like takes the holocron, and she's like she's kind of like wowed by its by its beauty and simplistic technology and she's like it's like it's magical and he's like no it's not magic you stupid bitch it's just old <laughs> doesn't make any sense magic there's no such thing as magic there's technology and then there's the force and the force isn't magic it's god or something whatever anyway <laughs> shut up just turn it on so then like this this space jockey is like what is stupid his name's Boda Bass and he's like Boda Bass and he's the, he's another Yoda type character he's like Boda Bass has information like Bo- he's what's inside the holocron Boda Bass is just like a Jedi from like a thousand years ago oh. and he's like yeah I'm part of the holocron and I've got information blah 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 and he's like and, he's like a librarian yeah <laughs> and so Leia's like Leia's like this is a Jedi instrument you're not allowed to have this and he's like but she's like oh no all of a sudden look, so look who knows everything about what Jedi are allowed to have so <laughs> So then he's, but then he reveals like, like you know, yeah, I've got clones and stuff. But I, I've explained that to Luke, so you'll you'll just have to read the book later. But like the fact is, what I really want, I want the child within your womb who will become the most powerful Jedi ever. Oh. I'm gonna transfer myself into the baby inside you that you didn't even know you had. So he's Vigo. Yeah. About two years after. 
Ghostbusters 2. <laughs> so she's like, no! So she literally just, oh, oh God, no. He's like, oh, my body's dying. It's, uh, I'm almost done. Like, I gotta get a new <laughs> clone. But before I get the clone, maybe I might jump into your baby and then just... How's that gonna work? That'll be in a fucking trapped in a baby. Yeah, that I'll has just, to grow up at like a normal rate of yeah, growth. I'll just gestate well, no, inside he'll, you. He'll and use... The force, force to make the baby side. get old because the dark side makes you age. So yeah, he'll just blast out of her, and like, <laughs> or I guess there's no <laughs> such thing as abortion in the Star Wars universe or something. But in any case, <laughs> he's like, he's like, oh, and like, but he, as he's explaining all this, he's like, will you? He's like, my time is almost up. It's kind of like a mirror of the like, oh, I've time forever sleep. Like, yeah. <laughs> so he's like, will you help an old man into his bed? And she like does, and he's like, yeah. What? So, so she like helps him into his bed. He's like, yeah, my own body's almost ready to die, and I'm ready to keel over. But before I do, I'm gonna get into your baby. She's like, nope. She just pushes the the bed over. Yeah, and he's like, yeah. And she takes the holocron. He's like, Whoa! The, I, the emperor has put you a mind now. The emperor <laughs> thinks he's got it over on everybody, and he acts like it. And he, and he in fact, he does because he knows that Luke is like he like he's like your brother thinks that he's like he's like let world devastators break. Like sure, one. I've got like a thousand of them. There's nothing he can do. Like let him think that he's beating me. The longer he thinks he's beating me, the longer I actually am beating him. He's playing a game. I'm playing an even bigger game. <laughs> and you're like, he's playing checkers. I'm playing chess. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the character that George is like, no, you can use the emperor but knock yourself out. <laughs> Probably because like he read one book by this guy he's like, oh no, you can't have Vader. You'll make him fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you could have the emperor be an undignified douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> Which is hilarious as well because the emperor is like he's undignifiedly like pushed off a of bed. He's like, Arr! Oh. and then George will steal that maneuver later when Yoda pushes him over a table and everything CG except for that one shot of Ian McDarmy going yeah, <laughs> falling over the one piece of plastic set they made. Yes. So he falls over and she leaves and he he's like, oh yes, that's part of my. Oh, she took the holocron. Oh, that wasn't part of the plan. <laughs> How could that not be part of the plan? You, you <laughs> left her put right it there. in her hand and then you lie down like an old man. <laughs> what the hell's the matter What's with you? All right. So Luke gets his new hand, which is way better than his old hand for reasons that are not explained. And uh, one of the, like the one of the, like, the Imperial dudes is like, Commander Skywalker, like, we've lost three Devastators. Should we, like, do something differently from what we've been doing? And Luke's like, no, don't tell the Emperor, but keep keep me posted. And you're like, okay. And then uh, 3PO shows up, because, like, 3PO's been, like, bumbling around the entire time. <laughs> 3PO, by the way, expresses such concern over R2. Every time R2 is, like, every time you see 3PO, he's either crying about R2 or turned off. So that's it. And so he... He actually winds up interacting with R2, and he's like, well, R2 says that you've wiped his memory, but you would never let him, like, he's thereby cementing Luke's oh, betrayal right. in 3PO's mind, because we got to convince 3PO of something. Right. So now everybody is convinced that he's turned. Yeah. Because, like... <laughs> oh, for Han, it was letting him zap Leia. Mm -hmm. for, for 3PO, it was wiping R2's, R2's memory. Mind. So, uh, you know, yeah. Leia, Leia, like, runs away. She joins up with Luke. He's like, you, you know... Good job kicking the emperor's ass, but like you gotta go, like you gotta get out of here. I'm still, I'm still on my mission, and I guess like that's the cool part is that like mm -hmm. Luke's mission superficially looks like shit, and then it's like Luke doesn't want to openly admit that he's like, I just want to know why my dad failed. Mm. It's like that's cool, I guess. All of this is worth that. No, <laughs> but it's like, but it's yeah. human. Why didn't you? Yeah. But yeah, why didn't you tell your friends like, don't come after me? He did. He kept telling them that. No, but like. Oh. The reason why. Oh, because it's like, embarrassing. Look, it's gonna get crazy. I'm gonna pretend that I'm on the side of the emperor and shit. Like I know you gotta stay home anyway. It's part of the plan. Right. It's part of my plan, which I don't know how I'm gonna survive. So Han and Chewie are in like a detention room, and then this big probe droid shows up, and like, oh, it's one of the people from his team. Right. It's like they tried to call them, and they didn't work. But anyway, so like the, one of the team like uses the probe droid thing to blow a hole in the prison ship, and then they all. Like, get onto it and escape. Okay. So Leia and Han and all the other f wacky friends they made all, like, go and hop onto a speeder or whatever. So it was all for nothing. Yes. Except they, Leia gets the holocron. Holo Leia gets the holocron. Right. So then they bail. They blow up the thing. They get on the... Uh, on the um, what thing? What do they oh, blow up? They, they blow up the, 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 the droid they were in. Oh. And they get on the Falcon. Oh, and Luke goes with them. Oh. And you're like, okay, we're good, we're good. I thought he said he still has to do his mission. He did say that, but they're like, I don't give a shit, come on. So, like, Luke goes with them, they all get on the, the money falcon, they're all going, and then Luke is like, great, that works out terrific. By the way, uh, 
I'm not actually here. It's all it's all for smoke and mirrors. He disappears. Oh, okay. And it's like, oh, he didn't go with them. What a dick. <laughs> but uh, the reason why he wiped R2 is because he actually stuffed R2 with Imperial data that he stole from oh, his okay. command position, which okay. is another reason why he was like, I, like, why it's okay that he like let Mon Calamarians die. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he at I least guess. accomplished something. Yeah, he yeah. got them like all this data on like their security codes and yeah. their. Like, and... well, this will help us like defeat the empire. Yeah, so it's, like, worth one planet. And Luke is like, I learned the secrets of how like the emperor ke- like can't die. Like, right. It's all like, if I if we if we leave and I defeat this emperor, it's all for nothing because the emperor will just keep coming back. Right. We've already, he's already proven how he's more effective at making the empire more effective. So like we gotta we gotta nip it in the bud. Mm. So like they leave, and. Huh? And and Luke is like, hey, I I betray- you failed your highness, <laughs> you know, like it's uh. over, and uh, and he's like, and by the way, like this final confrontation between Luke and the Emperor takes place in the Emperor's cloning room. Luke's like, you failed. I'm going to defeat you. And he goes, well then I must die, and then he just explodes. What? He explodes. He explodes himself. Yeah. How? Because he like, uses his force. He uses his force ability to, to kill blow himself. himself up. So he does. <laughs> It's just like, well, how do you move that rock over there? Well, I push it with the force. Well, I just push every part of my body away from <laughs> every other part with the force. So it blows up. <laughs> That's the most gruesome thing I can possibly imagine. <laughs> We're spared of that visual. We instead just have, like, light blast out of him. But so while the Emperor's, like, out of his own body, Luke just quickly just starts killing clones with his lightsaber. But he misses one, and it jumps into a young, like, adult, like a young, young man Emperor, he's like, ah, too late. I'm, I'm alive, and I'm still powerful and stuff. So, <laughs> oh, I guess I'm not old. So it's like, oh, hey, yeah, I can beat you. So and he has no junk. We just don't. Yeah, no, it's not. It's either not developed or we're being spared seeing the well, emperor's that's one of the ways that clones are not the same as. Uh, yeah, exactly. As, uh, he has no well, need for that. The other thing is, I think that they're not quite developed. So we get, so we get, we're treated to the ending of the original Stallone Judge Dredd movie now. Uh, so, oh. but then what's great is the emperor just starts gr- like just grabs a conveniently placed lightsaber that's nearby. Sure. Yeah. And it's the idea that like, because at first I'm like, oh, the emperor is like building lightsabers and shit too, like for his stupid clone bodies. No, these are recovered lightsabers from Jedi that he's killed over the years. Right. It's like okay, right on. I guess he'd keep them in the cloning chamber for no reason. <laughs> so then Luke and this naked emperor clone have a lightsaber fight. Sure. The Emperor knocks the lightsaber out of Luke's hand, thereby defeating him. He's like, well, you've been defeated. I've knocked out the lightsaber. Uh-huh. And Luke's like, oh, yeah, I'm, I've, I've lost. Why don't you use the Force? What? <laughs> <laughs> so they get all this info from R2, and so the Empire, or so like the, 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 the Alliance uses that information to help d- uh, deactivate the shields on the world destroyers. So like, oh my god, it's great. They got like, they had plans where like, the B-wings are like popping out of the water and they're like jumping on board and killing like the the, the, the stormtroopers on the, the world devastators so they can get in there and start using them against oh, the other world okay. devastators. And then they're like, then the whole like the whole plan of like okay we're gonna get on board the world of the stairs and kill the Imperials that all goes out the window because then they get a new plan. R two comes up with a plan all by himself to create a code that he transmits to all the world devastators who just jump into each other. Oh. So then like the plan that Luke came up with with all the in, with all the info and dropping shields and shit they abandoned the Luke plan entirely for R 2s plan so like all the all the all the alliance members were on the ship they're like oh we gotta get out of here so they all jump off the ships and the world leaders just start like smashing into each other and then sink into the ocean that's haphazard and weird yeah so yes. that's what happens so they have all the setup and then like oh never mind oh no R 2s got a better plan is that I wonder if that's just because like they didn't want to draw like the all ships, that stuff like sh- having to shoot down the world devastators maybe i mean <laughs> the fact is a lot gets glossed over in this book by full page images of stuff uh-huh. with right. narration boxes yeah. okay yeah so like leia is sad that her brother didn't go with them she turns on the holocron the holocron is like i i conveniently tell you what's going to happen in the future like i'm like jor-el's goddamn crystal computer 
So if you ask me a question, I can tell you what, it ha- what the answer is in real time. And she's like, what's going to happen to my brother? And he's like, well, I'll tell you a stupid, terrible rhyme prophecy about what will happen in a thousand years in the future, no. about a brother-sister Jedi team, and how the brother will give himself to the dark side. It's just literally the ending of the book. Where, like, the brother will think that he's got one over on the Emperor, but then Leia has to save the day at the end anyway. So then she's like, cool, the Holocron says I gotta go save the day. So then she just convinces Han... What the fuck is this? Oh, that's, like, a new ship they debuted, which is the Emperor's even more badass 10-mile-long Star Destroyer, which they call something else. So Leia's like, so listen, Han, we gotta go back and I gotta save my brother. And Han's like, I just found out you're pregnant again? Yeah. You're not going anywhere. And she's like, you will let me. And then like, I'm like, oh, cool. She used the Jedi mantra. Then the narration box says she does not even use her Jedi mantra. And I'm like, fuck you. Well, that would be kind of unethical. Well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> so. Although that would be interesting because then they'd have fallout from like, hey, you used your fucking magic powers on me. That's not okay. Yeah, that's and true. And you'd have conflict, but no. Yeah, no. <laughs> so then Leia just goes onto the big 10-mile-long Emperor ship, gives herself up. The Emperor's like, ah, excellent, you're back. Okay, let's start <laughs> over. I feel like we got off on the wrong side. <laughs> <laughs> I destroyed your lightsaber. That wasn't cool. I'm sorry. My bad. Here's a new one. <laughs> so she has a new one, and then she ignites that, and she's like... Like, and he goes, okay, cool. So, we're like, here's the problem. Like, Luke is really just obstinate. So, like, you kill Luke. And then you'll take his place. And I'm sure that, like, here's the thing. I don't even care about you. I just want to jump into your baby. So, like, yeah, kill Luke. I'll just, like, make you think you're, you're part of my team. And then you'll, I'll jump into your baby and then kill you. Hang or on. So, when he zapped her with lightning, he knew she was pregnant. And was like, this will be fine. It's force lightning. It doesn't work the same as regular lightning. <laughs> I'm really good at the force. I'll move the lightning away it from the It only zap non-essential parts. Yeah. I'm just... I control the... So it looks random where the bolts are going, yeah. but no, it's really precisely directed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, so, like, they they fight, and because Leia, like, reaches out to Luke, Luke wakes up from his dark side haze because Luke had, like, actually fallen to the dark side after the, like, after the Emperor defeated him by, like, pushing him over a little bit. So how did that happen? Because I feel like literally, some stuff was skipped. No, literally, like, the Emperor and, like, Luke's like, I, I'm, I'm not really part of the dark side. And, and the Emperor, like, hit, gets a lightsaber fight with him, knocks the lightsaber fight, like, like out of his hand, and he's like, no, you lose. He's I like, win, you're dark side now. Oh, I am? Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, that's works. fair. That's how it works. Yeah, yeah. so then later. It's like in like, the old days where you captured the enemy's capital, like, you just, you just win the yeah. war. The war's over, I won, I took your capital. Right, even <laughs> though we've established in this book that you can't just blow up the Death Star and then become in charge. Like, yeah, so, but you can't beat someone in a lightsaber fight and make them listen, turn bad. to the dark side. <laughs> listen, they, they deal in absolutes. Yes. Yeah. And only Sith do. Yeah. So. And anyone who says that is also a Sith, I Maybe guess. Maybe he was so devastated by losing that, like, he was just like, oh, I can't believe I lost, and that turned into the dark You he's literally like, killed every clone but the one. You just have to kill this one guy and you win. No, he's like, I'm like my dad. I can, I can totally see it. I got it now. That's it. He's like, yeah. He's like, I'm like my dad. I see why he like, lost. Oh, that's what that's happened. That's literally it. He's like, look at you. You're so young and handsome. I can't, I can't, no. It, it actually, it, it, except for the gay stuff, it's literally <laughs> that. Like, he is, he is just like, the Emperor it can't lose. And so my dad lost because, like, he, yeah, like he, he saw him and he lost. Yeah. yeah. And, like, he knows that, like, even if he defeats him, he still won't beat him. And there's no way to lose. Or there's no way to win. So that's it. So I see how my dad lost. And then Leia's like, hey, get, wake up. And he's like, okay, cool. Uh, yeah. And then they both are like, hey, you lose, Emperor. We, we're both part of the light side again. And then the Emperor's like, damn it. <laughs> I can't believe that didn't work this time. Even though it also didn't work last time. Luke basically says, uh... You know, I see how my father lost because he didn't have anyone with him to defeat you. Mm. Like, I thought I could beat you by myself, but that's how I fell like my dad. Mm-hmm. But because I have Leia here, she can join her her light side Jedi powers with mine. And that's what makes it suck. But, like, if you just strip that down into its basic thing of, like, <laughs> no, it's, like, because we are stronger together than we are apart. Mm-hmm. Like, with my sister at my side, I'm actually able to overthrow you. And he's like, that's stupid. <laughs> like, that's you can totally use... Lame. That's totally yeah, lame. That's, You're watching too much Hallmark Channel. Exactly! Like, why doesn't Luke remember that? Like, Vader couldn't beat the Emperor alone, but with his son, the two of them did defeat him. Right. Like, why didn't you think of that? Why didn't you just, like... Didn't the Emperor say he foresaw it, too? Yes. So, you know, come on. So then Leia and Luke join their light side powers. And which, with their powers combined. And with their powers combined, 
it like confuses the emperor who's blinded by his hate which he uses to control this big storm cloud and then while he's like distracted by the light side leia and luke just bail and jump onto a ship and fly away and the storm cloud consumes this huge cool ship we just established two pages earlier and the emperor and destroy him forever yeah he killed all the clones yeah i guess so unless he went in the baby yeah but he didn't why didn't he because he was so distracted by the powers combined of the skywalkers oh and also looking like dracula yeah well like no you, he never could do that no, he like could. He just thought he could. No, he yeah. could. He's only it's ever just that gone he didn't. A clone he... before. Yeah. And he's like, if I tried really hard though, I could go into somebody else's body. I could totally do even it. Even a baby that doesn't even have like a brain or anything. <laughs> yeah. How so would that even fucking work? Exactly. I'm pretty sure I could do it. So, like, if he was in there, would he be totally aware of it? Right. He'd be like, <laughs> oh no, jeez, oh, I just. Gotta... This is totally boring. <laughs> I'm totally conscious and aware of what's happening. It's I have to wait for weird. my. I have to wait for my body to even form. <laughs> I have nubs. Yeah, yeah, I'm it's, literally it's like a wakey nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that song one. <laughs> I totally get it now. <laughs> <laughs> and Justice for All is truly the greatest album of all time. Oh man, let's see if I can remember it. That'll that'll pass the time. <laughs> That's so metal. <laughs> Yeah, yeah I could totally do this for another eight months. Oh, oh Jesus! Shit. <laughs> <laughs> so then they, he blows up, and the and, and Luke is like, "Yeah, the baby inside you, plus the kids, and plus you. Like, man, we are totally gonna make this work." <laughs> the end. <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> well, everything's gonna be great from now on. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So shouldn't Luke have some kids, too, to help out with this effort? No, yeah. Leia's got it covered. You just keep popping them out. But thanks a lot for watching, everybody. We'll see you guys next week with an all-new episode. And hey, I'll put a link in the description box below this video for you to pick up this copy. And we'll see you then. Thanks a lot for this watching, This copy? Everybody. This one right here? No. But a copy like it. You know, <laughs> you can get all the appendices, oh. and Tolkien-esque chapters, and cool. great stuff. But we'll see you Are guys then. trees and crap and No, languages. no, no. It, no, it's just horse shit. Like, here's some stuff I didn't get a chance to explain. So yeah. here's bullshit. Okay, so this was really confusing. But here's all the information you need to make yeah, sense. Yeah, don't worry. You can have that and use it. Enjoy. Like, thanks for nothing. But, uh, yeah. So we'll see you guys next week. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. I'm Tiffany. Thanks for watching. <laughs>